guys, what's up and welcome to my channel, I'm Miley. Notice that it has been a hot sickety sec, S sickety sec? Sure, we'll stick with that. It has been a hot sickety sec since I have done a nail tutorial. If you are new to my channel and haven't seen any of my previous videos, you will notice in every video my nails are different. Some of my very first videos that I made on this channel are nail tutorials, so if you haven't seen those, I will put a link in the description down below. I thought I would make up for lost time by doing not one, not two, but three different nail designs using one of these cheap disposable makeup sponges. Oops. I just ripped it. There, no. <laughs> okay, well, we'll be using one of these makeup sponges. They're really cheap. You can pick up a giant pack at any CVS, Walgreens for I think like two bucks. So if you would like to see the three designs I came up with using one of these sponges, keep watching. Hello, hello? Oh, hi, it's me. Jumping right into this first design, I will be putting a link in the description down below of all the colors and brands I am using throughout this video, but you can use any pink, purple, and black to achieve this design, and I also use this dotter tool for each one of the designs. I started off this design by painting all my nails using this peachy pink color. I call this design the Lisa Frank Nails. If you don't know who Lisa Frank is, she designs all these really colorful, usually animal-based folders and notebooks. I don't even know if those school supplies are still around, but when I was in elementary school, all the cool girls had Lisa Frank supplies. And don't forget that second layer of your base color. And once all the nails were complete, I sat and waited for these nails to dry. When using a sponge, waiting for each layer to dry is very important. Now comes the spongy time. Taking that light purple, I painted a little strip onto the sponge. The key to getting a nice thin layer onto your nails is painting the sponge until the polish soaks in until you can see the pores of the sponge. Once I saw those pores, I patted the sponge onto my thumb and repeated the step on each one of the nails. That's my patting sound effect. You're welcome. And when done, it should look something like this. Not the cleanest, but top coat in these designs really does make a difference. I did say these were the Lisa Frank nails, and these wouldn't be Lisa Frank without some animal print. So taking my daughter tool and my black nail polish, I began to dot out different animal prints on each nail. On my thumb, I did a cheetah. On my pointer finger, I did zebra. On my middle finger, I did giraffe. And on my ring finger, I did tiger stripes. Don't ask me what the difference between tiger and zebra stripes are. I'm not totally sure. And to finish off, I did more cheetah spots on my pinky. Once my left hand was done, I quickly painted my right hand. If only it was actually that quick. And to finish off this design, I used my Seche Vive top coat on all of my nails. And here is the first design all complete. Let's quickly clean off these nails and get to the second design. For my second design, I am going to be doing galaxy nails. This isn't the most original design. I have seen this done a bunch, but it is the first design I ever did with a sponge and it is great for beginners. I started off by painting all of my nails black because, you know, space is dark. Taking that dark purple, I began to pat that all over each one of my nails. 
Hey, you could even tell people you did this design because of the recent SpaceX launch. Taking that royal blue, I did the same thing, and I did try to concentrate the blue in a diagonal line and not cover the whole nail. And I know it's hard to see the color difference, but this isn't supposed to be a huge contrasting difference, it's just supposed to add a little something something to it. Wow, great description, Miley. Next, using the light minty blue color, I painted a pretty thin straight line on the sponge so that it was easier to concentrate the color in a thinner diagonal line than the royal blue. And the good thing about working with a sponge, if you do get too much of one color, you can always backtrack and go in with one of the previous colors and just keep building the layers up until you like the design. On some of the nails, I got a little bit too much of the minty blue, so I went back in with royal blue and purple to kind of add more colors and textures to this galaxy. For the final color I used with the sponge, I painted a little bit of white on the very tip of the sponge and dabbed that lightly over the minty blue. And here are the spongy colors all complete. Now let's add some stars to this galaxy, taking that clear sparkly polish that has blue and silver sparkles. I painted a thin layer over every nail, and when you do that, the sparkles start to look like stars far, far away. And to add some stars closer up, I took the white polish and made dots all over my nails. And with one hand all complete, I quickly painted my right hand. Again, I really wish it was that quick. And here is the final design all complete. For the third and final design, I call these tropical sunset nails. I used the same pink, purple, and black as the first design. I just threw yellow into the mix. I started off by painting all of my nails yellow. And now looking for a clear section of this now filled up sponge, I painted a little bit of that peachy pink color onto the sponge and began to dab it on each one of my nails, concentrating the color on the top half of my nail. Next, taking that purple, I began to dab that on the very top of my nail over the now pink section. And when done, it looked like this. And once all those layers were dry, I took my dotter tool and began to dot a line at the very bottom of my nail. And this doesn't have to be a perfect line. It's supposed to be a landscape, so the more bumpy it is, the more hilly it looks. And once each one of those lines were done, I began to dot out little palm trees on each nail. Again, this does not have to be perfect. The bumpier the trunk looks, it just makes it look more rustic. And the bumpier the leaves are, just adds a little bit more texture to it. When I was done, I kind of wish I would have stuck to doing palm trees on only two or three of my nails. But in the end, I still liked the way this design turned out. And once complete, I did the same design on my right hand and then went over all of my nails using my top coat. 
for these designs using the sponge top coat really does make a difference i think it smooths out and blends out all of the colors And there you have it. Here are the three designs I came up with using a little spongy sponge. I really do love how each one of these turned out. This is a really fun and easy way to get an ombre look to your nails and the possibilities for designs are endless. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button so that you know when I post and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.